Rat and Snake Acrylic Painting Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. I have already sketched out my painting on my canvas and now I'm going to be painting over the background with black paint and I am really wanting this to just stay in a nice and solid black because my snake, I really want him to pop out with that nice vibrant neon color so a black background is going to give you that really good contrast that I'm looking for. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be painting my snake, or my rat, not my snake, my rat. So I'm going to be, you can make your rat any color you want. I wanted him to be kind of gray and cream. So I'm going to first paint him with white and then blend in black and brown and cream just to give him all of his different, different um, shades and coloring. And then fill in his ears and his ears, I want them to be a little bit more warm tone. So I'm going to bring in some pink and orange and also a little darker, so a little more brown. Same thing with his feet and his tail. So then I'm also going to darken his nose with some more brown and then around his nose just a little bit, add his black eyes. And then as I mentioned, I'm going to be painting his tail with tan, brown, and orange. And so now I'm going to be adding all of his little hair details. I'm going to use diluted white paint and a small brush and just add several strokes all around him to give him that texture that we're looking for and make him look nice and soft. And then several long whiskers. So now I'm going to be painting his cherry, so I'm going to start by covering it with red. And then adding some black and some white just to give it that round appearance. So now I'm going to be painting the arm, and I am using a light peach color. I am, this is actually, I'm painting this from a picture that I took of my own arm, so I'm trying to get close to my own skin tone, which is very pale. But you can do any skin color you'd like, there is really no doesn't make any difference. So paint over the arm and then go through and blend in um, darker tones. So I'm using brown and black and a little bit of white for highlighting. And I'm doing just the very beginning stages of detailing that hand. I'm not going to, I'm not finished with it yet. So this is just the beginning of that. I didn't want to spend too much time on it at the moment. And then I'm going to be painting over my snake with a very bright green color. And I did several different layers of paint. So in the end, you probably can't even see this layer of paint, but it really helps you to know where your snake is and how he's laying. So it makes the rest of it a lot easier if you just get that color on. At least that's how I feel. So I'm going to be detailing the hand with diluted brown paint and adding all of the little, little wrinkles on the knuckles and outlining where the nail should be and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to be painting over the shirt with orange and you can again use any color you like. I just thought orange would be a nice good bright color as well and um, really contrast with the green. So now I am going to be starting my snake detail. So I blended in some dark green around the edges, um, or actually around the middle, just to give him some more dimension. And now I'm going to be creating a crosshatch pattern over my entire snake with diluted white paint. And this is not going to be seen in the final product, but is just going to help me know where the scales need to be placed. It's kind of a grid so that you can tell. It's a really good technique that I would definitely recommend doing. You don't have to, it's optional. You can just paint your scales, but I think it definitely does help. So if you, if you do it, I would recommend making that grid. So now I'm going to be adding my scales and I'm using a combination of the two greens I use, the really neon green and that darker green as well as yellow. And so I'm just going to be filling in my snake within that grid pattern and you can use any combination of colors that you like and you can do any sort of pattern. I am painting this from a snake, that's another picture that I took, and so it's actually painted from a real snake. So I would try to find a snake picture that you like and try to match the pattern on the snake as much as possible just to keep the realism because there is sort of a method to their patterning that you might want to try to recreate. So I did that over the entire snake. There was a lot of footage so I just cut it down a bit and I'm going to be shading in or um, shadowing with some diluted black paint just to help differ differentiate between the different coils and then I'm going to be highlighting him with some diluted white paint. And then taking full strength white, I'm just going to dab over some of the scales to really bring them out and highlight them even further. So now because I haven't painted his eyes yet, I'm going to start by painting them with white, blending in some black and some green to create a sort of a diluted green color, not diluted, but a, uh, I don't know, you know, add his pupil and highlight over his 
eyelids to give them a little bit more domed shape and then I'm going to be adding some texture to my shirt with some orange and some yellow so just blending that in and then also adding the stitching so that's it I hope you like this painting and please share any comments with me or any questions or recreations um, in the comment section also check out my Facebook and Instagram accounts to see some more of my art and I will see you in my next video